Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is another awesome high growth treatment that you can add to your regimen to help you grow your hair and also to just to help you prevent hair loss. Now this treatment, I have been using it on my daughter's hair and trust me guys, it is the bomb. And I hope that you will watch and please if you do, watch till the end of the video so you get to see all of the steps and also instructions on how to use it. Now, before we get into the video, I want to say a huge thank you guys if you're a returning subscriber. Thank you so much for support. And if you're new here, please join us by just clicking the subscribe button to join the family. Now, let's hop into the video. So, to begin with, just so I can see here, I'm using two carrots. Now, carrots are pretty good when it comes to preventing hair loss. They are rich in vitamin A, which can aid in improving your scalp health and also strengthening your hair follicles. So I cut the carrots without peeling. I just wash them and I'm just transferring it into this, um, this pan here. And I'm going to add some water and then I'm going to um, pop it on the stove to do its thing essentially so you just want to cook it i'm going to show you a little bit later so in the meantime while that's cooking i'm going to prep my um aloe vera so aloe vera you guys know i've been using it for such a long time if you've been watching my videos for a while you will definitely see that i use it quite a lot and aloe vera is very very beneficial when it comes to um you know just keeping your hair healthy growing your hair moisturizing it and all of that good stuff and i use it on my daughter's hair as well and her hair absolutely loves it so far i haven't really seen anyone um whose hair doesn't really agree with aloe vera let me know in the comment section down below if you're allergic to aloe vera but it's just such a great um thing to use on our hair whether it is in oils or even like as part of your dip conditioner or even as a leave-in conditioner it's just amazing um so i used this amount of aloe vera and essentially i washed it and just removed the flesh of it just like you saw here i'm not going to soak it guys just because i use it on my daughter's hair quite regularly and it doesn't itch her it doesn't do anything just like me essentially so if you're allergic to it maybe it's worth um soaking it for about 15 minutes before you use it so once i prepped my aloe vera i just went ahead and uh decided to check the carrots so you want to cook it until it's just soft you know you don't want to you know overdo it so when it's soft take it off the stove sieve it and then we're going to pop it in the symbol in which we have our um aloe vera you can allow it to cool down as well if you want to guys but i was in a rush so i'm just going to go ahead and use it like that so next i'm adding in here some ripe avocado now avocado also helps to seal the cuticle cells because they contain potassium and magnesium and this essentially can help your hair to look smooth shiny and also prevent it from breaking so it's very good in your hair treatments now don't forget also that you can eat this in your diet to reap amazing results just as as well so go ahead and blend the whole thing so i'm using a hand blender but you can pop this in your regular blender if you want to so you want to blend it until it is nice and smooth so after you blended it guys we're going to go ahead and strain it now it's very important that you don't skip this process guys please please strain no matter how smooth you think it is please go ahead and strain just because otherwise you will have bits of carrots aloe vera stuck in your hair which again could be difficult to get out so to strain i'm using a recap but again feel free to use whatever works for you it could be a tea towel so just pour the mixture on there and just be gentle and take your time to strain it because of the carrot is it doesn't come out very easily so you just have to really take your time to um, squeeze it now i forgot to show you guys to record the final product um the final thing um as is when i was editing that i realized that i didn't show you what the final consistency of it looked like but it does look like a you know a regular deep conditioning treatment i'm going to show you guys as i'm applying to your to her hair what kind of consistency we're working with so we're ready to use it essentially so i'm just going to show you guys how i'm using it on her hair and also talk a bit more about how you can also use it in your regimen to help you in your hair growth journey now her hair currently has been washed it hasn't been conditioned guys and it's kind of dry um and that's just because to be completely honest i didn't have the time to follow through because usually when i wash her hair i would um condition straight away 
and plait it as well straight away it's just because it just put I, it just doesn't get dry that way and it's just quicker for me to just do it all at once but on this particular occasion i didn't really have the time for it so that's why i shampooed it and i left it like that and it went very very dry very very tangled again so i was just doing a bit of finger detangling here just to you know remove as much nuts as possible and also to make the application of this treatment a little bit easier so because her hair was so dry this treatment just happened to be the perfect thing because it gave her hair so much moisture and detangling again was super easy um afterwards so to begin with i'm just putting it here with just water guys um but you can apply this to your hair directly if you want to it's just really moisturizing as well just because of the aloe vera and also the avocado um but i just wanted to add a bit of water because her hair was really really dry um just like you saw there so i'm massaging the water in just to make sure that you know the hair is properly saturated with it and then i'm going to go ahead and apply this to her hair now the way that i do her her schedule like when it comes to like her hair regimen i would normally uh, wash her hair every two to three weeks just like i do mine so uh and then i will condition it on the spot so shampoo condition Put in a leave-in conditioner or a butter usually i use the butter that i have on my website or the aloe vera oil that i have so i use this the same things that i use on my hair on her hair basically so i would do that and then i'm gonna go ahead and plait her hair straight away and then she will just stay with that style until her next wash day which I'm, means i'm just going to repeat the same thing so that's what i do with her hair sometimes i would spray her hair as well like i do mine with some leave-in leave sprays but it doesn't always happen that i do it guys so i'm just going to be completely honest so most of the time i will just leave her hair be you know and then i will treat it um once i take her protective style out just like you know you would normally so after applying it to her hair guys i'm just making sure that i'm massaging it really well you can also apply this to your scalp because it's quite beneficial for your scalp so apply there and then essentially after i finish applying it i'm just going to hold this with this part and then i'm going to move on to the next section repeat until the rest of her hair is completely done but i wanted to show you guys how defined her curls were looking after applying this you can see her hair is looking super moisturized than what we had um began with so this is really good when it comes to just giving you guys that moisture and you guys know moisture is key when it comes to preventing hair breakage or just hair loss in general so i will leave this on her hair for about 45 minutes and i'm going to go ahead and rinse it off with just warm water and then i will carry on with my regular routine which i explained to you later uh, earlier now you can use this once every week or once every other week just depending on how often you deep condition your hair it's quite low in protein so it's quite safe for most hair types so even if your hair is protein sensitive this should be okay um so it's something that you can use on a regular basis if you feel the need to so i went ahead and rinsed off her hair and this is what her hair looks like so super moisturized still needs detangling though which i'm gonna go ahead and do later on so this brings me to the end of the video i hope that you guys have enjoyed watching and if you did please don't forget to thumbs up the video i would really appreciate it also please subscribe if you're not already and share this video with a friend or family member and i'll catch you in the next one bye